right? Six months ago, then it was suddenly a craziness. Right. Now it's back down. Why? Why? The prices are coming down. Not drastically, not but, drastically there, but there's no down, craziness. Not, not going up anymore. You guys can definitely find what you're looking for, okay? And now you guys can actually afford more because interest rates are down. What is going to actually happen after a while? It is a big situation with the housing. Generally, so it's a quite category of Bakurati, it's a housing price, it's a interest rate, a bong aritoce, apni, it is should be the Kibabini Teparan, it's a direct breakdown. Takbe, a bong, uh, Amik Kotabolism, Michael Motazi will correct me for that. So let's uh, start with the uh, home, home pricing. Uh, you said before the show that the prices are coming down, they are coming down. So you're going to see certain markets where you're bidding on a house and you just can't get it, it's out of control, right? right. Why is it because the brokers are actually putting it below market to cause this problem. Then you have other ones that are doing the right thing and they are basically putting on the market for whatever it is, say 700. You're not paying 700, right? You can get a 680, you can put a 670. There are, there's room. Okay, so if we were to, if, if you were to explain this in a way, let's say six months ago, we, we were seeing the listing was going no, up and Six up months and ago, it was weird, right? Six months ago, then it was suddenly a craziness. Right. Now it's back down. Why? Why? Okay, first of all, it's the economy, right? That's number one. But the real thing is the interest rates are down. So what does that okay. mean? More sellers are willing to sell their house because they will buy another house at a reasonable interest rate. Okay, so what you're saying in a nutshell, the prices are coming down. Not drastically, not but, drastically but there's no down, craziness. Not, not going up anymore mm -hmm. and not crazy. That's one thing. The second thing is, the peop the inventory are adding up slowly but mm -hmm. surely because the people the they want to sell because now they can buy another house at a very affordable rate Correct. not three percent right two percent but five percent remember we used to talk about like why would I trade a three percent right at for, for a, the a seven, four percent, seven or six percent right. right that'd be crazy yeah right so, so it's becoming normal right but again everyone hears on the street oh my god the price is going up going up it's not true you got to look for the right deals. You know, there's sellers who are just unwilling and I don't, oh, don't want to budge. They don't want to budge. They're in a, you know, fairy tale land. Right. You know, it always takes like six, seven months for when inventory increases and for sellers' expectations to change. Okay. So, so your advice to the home buyers, first time home buyers or the second mm -hmm. buyer for the properties or maybe investment properties, what would be your advice to the people who are looking for a real estate house right now, especially in New York metro areas? So look, you guys can definitely find what you're looking for, okay? And now you guys can actually afford more because interest rates are down, right? Right. So it, it's a great, for a buyer, it's great, okay. right? And it's only gonna get better, why? because the Fed's gonna cut the rates, but right now, based on the interest rates we have, they're already factoring in a quarter point uh, cut. The market. Right, so what, I, what I'm gonna tell you now is really what it is if they cut it for a quarter point. If they do half a point, it's gonna drop even further. All right, so let's go on to interest rate. Mm -hmm. um, I, I said something, you corrected me right away. So let's, uh, you're gonna correct, them, correct me again because people have to know the, yes. the facts. What is the interest rate right now for a first time home buyer or if somebody who wants to refinance? Okay, so right now it's about 5.75. 5.75, it's not correct. crazy six. Uh, even last week I was looking at it five, six point five. It was seven. never that. I've never done a loan at that okay, much. I want you to explain this to me Look, because. Just this week I locked five loans in the fives. Five loans. And guess what? Everybody is an Uber driver. Yeah. So, so it's not about W2s or any of this okay. nonsense. So it is basically comes down to an honest broker, mm -hmm. reliable one, giving you the right paperwork and fighting for you at the right Yeah, it's about being strategic, basically. right? A lot of my clients, right? We plan this out for a whole, we plan this out from January. What we're going to do, how we're going to do it. Okay, it all takes, it's not, I just wake up and I'm going, I want to buy a house. It's not going to happen. No, 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 it's not buying a shoe. Um, exactly. It's, it's something you'd have to be well thought out. Correct. Planned. Quite a few things are involved in this when you buy a house. Uh, what neighborhood is it? 
uh, if you have kids, uh, how good are those schools uh, in that area? How safe do you feel in that place uh, or in that neighborhood? Do you, you know, do you, uh, is the crime rate is very high there? Or, or you know, how many uh, police stations you have or prisons you have around there? How many hospitals you have? You, do you have any, um, you know, you college or universities? All these things. And how far are those shopping places if, you're, if your wife is not driving? What I will point out, right, a good school district, the prices are not going to change. Yeah, yeah. That's because it's desirable, right? The yeah, ones that are changing are the ones that don't have, as you pointed out, like maybe that's not the greatest school district, you know, or the taxes are too high there. Right. So that brings me to the point, and, and I always wonder that what is going to actually happen after a while. Uh, upstate New York, you know, lots of Bangladeshi community mm -hmm. people uh, move to uh, I do uh, quite uh, a bit of Albany, in Buffalo, so yes. uh, uh, Buffalo's, and where there's one other uh, city. Albany. Uh, no, Albany, Buffalo, there's one other. I always forget Sh that one. Uh, it's in Buffalo. It's right next to Buffalo. Yeah, yeah, right. yeah, yeah. It's not right yeah, next yeah, to I, I know. I, 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 it starts with a C. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah, yeah. It's, it's, I keep yeah, forgetting that. So that, um, yes. and there's one more, and you know, uh, I, 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 it will come to me. They are moving there. One of the major reasons they moved there is because the houses are cheap. Uh, mm -hmm. You can buy a house for $100,000 and be happy with it because... You can. So what, what happens now that the home prices are coming down, especially those prices will come down even faster. Very fast. Yeah, and the interest rate cuts is looming, mm -hmm. so we know it's going to happen. Correct. So what happens to those places? So as this place gets somewhat more affordable, mm -hmm. right, that's going to be different because look, yes, the house is 150000 But do you think your, your pay that you have here is going to be the identical? It's not. Okay. So you think someone who can afford a $150,000 house is going to pay the same price for, say, a, a taxi ride or an Uber ride? Not. Of course not. Of course not. So that's also what I saw was a real eye opener for everybody. Okay. So did you see a lot of people went there and, and came moved, back down? Yes, I did. You did. I did. And their reasons were? Because of that, exactly what I said, the pay, they thought the pay would be identical. Right. But it's not. Right. So people who are still... People didn't do their research and they just jumped. Yeah. Blindly following. Correct. Right. So people who are still thinking of that, what would be your suggestion? My suggestion is if you're kind of on the fence, why don't you go there, buy, say, a two-family house there, rent it out, or live in it, but at least you have that option. Right. Okay. Think we'll of it as investment property. Uh, that's about it. Uh, because I, I, I found the market that is about thirty percent overbought over there right now. So you it used basically to be like thirty-six. With the, you paid like, about thirty, forty percent more than it, what you should have mm -hmm. compared to five years ago. Right. Yeah. So you, I mean, those houses used to be like forty thousand dollars. <laughs> yeah. 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 It doesn't make sense. I mean, I, I, I had offer. Uh, it's like take this house, forty-five thousand dollars, and this is in Buffalo, mm -hmm. and uh, and then I went back few years ago, and a guy bought it for $175,000. It's insane. Even in Albany, I saw a house many years ago for $90,000. It was gorgeous. Yeah, yeah, right? yeah. Right? I mean, that's what made sense back then. I did not buy a property in Kingston, upstate, mm -hmm. uh, 217, and this is, I'm talking about 2004, 2005, around that yeah, well, time. That, wasn't, that was not a good area back then. Now I regret. Mm -hmm. So things change. Why? Because, because of what happened with COVID. Everything changed. Yeah, everything. That property right now is close to a million dollars. You know, I would not even right if you paid me, I would not be right, in Kingston. It was right on the water. Of course. That's important. Yeah. So mm -hmm. I, I would not live there. Mm -hmm. But now. Look, nobody so, could predict this. Okay. But so housing, you really can't tell. But you have, if you're patient, and yeah. if you're jumping the bandwagon, mm -hmm. then you should be okay. But you guys have to also realize one thing. As the economy weakens, right? interest rates are going to go down even okay. further. But also your pay will, will, will suffer also. also. So you guys so, got to be a little bit on the fence. Now, people who have a very stable job or for city of New York or, you know, you're some good. state, you're fine. You're fine because it's a city you're or state jobs. Exactly. You're not gonna, there's nothing to worry about. Exactly. But overall, the wage growth will stop. Oh, yeah. In, in regular, mm. you know, regular jobs exactly. and stuff. And um, even though the feds tell you the GDP is growing, the economy is booming, go out on the street, that's not what you're going to see. No, you're that, not. That's very stark difference between mm -hmm. them, the reports and the reality. Correct. And look, anybody who's trying to get a mortgage now, someone's, so you go to some loan officer and says, hey, it's 6%, 6 and a half, just walk away. Yeah. Walk so, away, come see me. Please, uh, uh, Michael Mutaz, what did you say? What did you say? What did you say? What did you say? 6%, 6.5%. Don't do it. No. Uh, it's not worth it. Current, 
5.70 এখন পাওয়া সম্ভব আপনার পক্ষে পাঁচটি লোন উনি রিসেন্টলি ক্লোজ করেছেন ক্রেডিট इवन इवन নো ডক লোনস আর এট 7 no doc yes meaning if you put down 20% mm-hmm. and no yeah, documentation like required call, yeah, it's correct. 7% exactly okay that brings me to a, a next point mm-hmm. which is what should the people who bought 6 months ago at a very high rate like 8% 7% you know mm-hmm. their broker were bad their loan officers were bad they're all crooked mm-hmm. bad guys and i'm i'm really talking to most of the people who are in real estate did this to your client i am talking to you okay mm-hmm. now those people you're going to ask me hey I, should I, I should I should I refinance or wait yes. that's what you're going to ask me look most of those people had like 9 11% interest like right now i would refinance because guess what at least it'll alleviate some burden right and you can guess what even it's 7 months later and it goes down even further you can do it again okay so you are telling the people who are waiting for fi- refinancing they should refinance now mm-hmm. and they could refinance again after 6 months they could and if they are exactly. at 9% 11% they can bring it down to 6% yeah it's possible it's definitely possible it's definitely possible definitely possible it all depends on what they do right and it all depends on look if you're self employed and matter taxes right if you got home care w2 c job it doesn't matter yeah I, I, that brings us to our last topic mm-hmm. today. Remember, next week we're covering more on two topics that we talked about, mm-hmm. and I think we need to do it because it, this is yes, a... Yes, exactly. Let me get full clarity. Yeah, Let me get of course, the of success, course. and then... The SBA what? loan and how to get rid of it. Basically, mm-hmm. that's what it's not forgiveness, how to get rid of it. I would, yes. I would just Same thing with the way. interest. It's yeah, not how to, how to refund, not okay? Get the, you know, how to, how to lower it, playing by the rules. Correct. Ba- basically, that's what it is. You said something that caught my attention in the beginning of the show. SBA and mortgage, they are now will be impacted on the mortgage bearer. Correct. What does that mean? So it doesn't go in your credit report. But if, if they see the payments in your bank statement that you're showing the two months, they will add it on, back on. And that may disqualify you for the loan. So there's two Which ways. loan? The mortgage the loan. The mortgage loan. Okay. So people who have SBA loans... Correct. And they are the going to buy a house. Right. They are, they are about to submit the application. Mm-hmm. Start there. Okay. So there's two ways to get around this, right? So let's start with what what happens, right? Suddenly they see a $66 payment, right? Just say easy yeah, payment. Yeah. Yeah. They say, wait, it's not on the credit report. What is this? Then you have to provide the documents. And now they realize it's $1,000 a month. You're not getting that house. That it, loan's dead. Okay. So it all comes down to... Liability, preparation. liability versus preparation. Pre- well, preparation is the one, the road that so you're going to take. So there's two options to, not, to get around this situation. And look, I saw it all last month, and we were able to do it, which was great. Okay. Okay, so let me give you the easy option. You're, before you guys go look for houses or buy houses, make sure the SBA loan payment comes from some other bank account that you're not going to show them, okay? Then they won't see it. There'll be no questions. Number two. Yeah. Number two, <laughs> other way is... Oh, sorry. <laughs> Keep going. The other way to do it is if you can show 12 payments from a business checking account, not personal, just because it has a business checking account for 12 payments, they won't count it. New York Theke Shamprocharito, TVN24 Television, Bishwajure, Bangalir Kontoshar.